Nanak Shahi Calendar, Wikipedia Article Audio The Nanak Shahi Calendar is a tropical solar calendar which is based on the Mbaram Maha. Bharam Maha was composed by the Sikh Gurus and translates as the Twelve Months. It is a poem reflecting the changes in nature which are conveyed in the twelve-month cycle of the year. The year begins with the month of Chet, with one Chet corresponding to March 14. The first year of the Nanak Shahi calendar starts in 1469 CE, the year of the birth of Guru Nanak Dev. Etymology History Controversy Features Months Festivals and events The Nanak Shahi calendar is named after the founder of the Sikh religion, Guru Nanak Dev. Sikhs have traditionally recognized two eras and luni solar calendars, the Nanak Shahi and Khalsa. Traditionally, both these calendars closely followed the Bikrami calendar with the Nanak Shahi year beginning on Katak Puran Mashi and the Khalsa year commencing with Vaisakhi. The methods for calculating the beginning of the Khalsa era were based on the Bikrami calendar. The year length was also the same as the Bikrami solar year. According to Steele, the calendar has 12 lunar months that are determined by the lunar phase, but 13 months in leap years which occur every 2 to 3 years in the Bikrami calendar to sync the lunar calendar with its solar counterpart. To the Nanak Shahi era have been made in historic documents. Banda Singh Bahadur adopted the Nanak Shahi calendar in 1710 CE after his victory in Sirhand according to which the year 1710 CE became Nanak Shahi 241. However, according to Dalajara, he continued adopting the months and the days of the months according to the Bikrami calendar. Banda Singh Bahadur also minted new coins also called Nanak Shahi. The revised Nanak Shahi calendar was designed by Pal Singh Purwal to replace the Bikrami calendar. The epic of this calendar is the birth of the first Sikh Guru, Nanak Dev in 1469 and the Nanak Shahi year commences on one Chet. New Year's Day falls annually on what is March 14 in the Gregorian Western calendar. The start of each month is fixed. According to Capel, the solar accuracy of the Nanak Shahi calendar is linked to the Gregorian civil calendar. This is because the Nanaskahi calendar uses the tropical year instead of using the sidereal year which is used in the Bikrami calendar or the old Nanak Shahi and Khalsa calendars. The amended Nanak Shahi calendar was adopted in 1998 but implemented in 2003 by the Shiromani Gadwara Prabhandak Committee to determine the dates for important Sikh events. The calendar was implemented during the SGPC presidency of Sikh scholar Professor Kirpal Singh Badungar at Takat Sri Dam Dama Saib in the presence of Sikh leadership. In 2010, the Shiromani Gadwara Prabhandak Committee modified the calendar so that the dates for the start of the months are movable so that they coincide with the Bikrami calendar and changed the dates for various Sikh festivals so they are based upon the lunar phase. This has created controversy with some bodies adopting the 2003 version, also called the Mool Nanak Shahi calendar and others, the 2010 version. By 2014, the SGPC had scrapped the original Nanak Shahi calendar from 2003 and reverted back to the Bikrami calendar entirely, however it was still published under the name of Nanak Shahi. The Sikh bodies termed it a step taken under pressure from the RSS and SAD. There is also some controversy about the acceptance of the calendar altogether among certain sectors of the Sikh world. SGPC President, Gobind Singh Longgowal, 
on March 13, 2018 urged all Sikhs to follow the current Nanak Shahi calendar. The previous SGPC president before Long Gaul, Prof. Kirpal Singh Badungar, tried to appeal the Akal Tak to celebrate the birthday of Guru Gobind Singh on January 5 as per the Mool Nanak Shahi calendar, but the appeal was denied. The Pakistan Sikh Gurdwara Prabandak Committee and a majority of the other Gurdwara managements across the world are opposing the modified version of the calendar citing that the SGPC reverted to the Bikrami calendar. They argue that in the Bikrami calendar, dates of many Gurpurbs coincide, thereby creating confusion among the Sikh panth. According to Ahilawalia, the Nanak Shahi calendar goes against the use of lunar Bikrami dates by the Gurus themselves and is contradictory. It begins with the year of birth of Guru Nanak Dev, but the first date, one Chet, is when Guru Harai was installed the seventh Guru. However, the first date of the Nanak Shahi calendar is based upon the Baram Maha of the Guru Granth Sahib, which has Chet as the first month. Pal Singh Pure Wow, as reported in the Edmonton Journal has stated that his aims in formulating the Nanak Shahi calendar were, first and foremost, it should respect sacred holy scriptures. Second, it should discard the lunar calendar and use only a solar one. Third, all the dates should be fixed and not vary from year to year. In reality however, state Har and Kalsi, the introduction of the Nanak Shahi calendar has resulted in many festivals being celebrated on two dates depending on the choice of the management of the local Gurdwaras. Features of the Calendar The months in the Mool Nanak Shahi calendar are Movable dates for Sikh festivals Uses the accurate tropical year rather than the sidereal year called Nanak Shahi after Guru Nanak, year 1 is the year of Guru Nanak's birth. As an example, March 17, 2018 CE is Nanak Shahi 550, is based on Gurbani, month names are taken from Guru Granth Sahib, contains 5 months of 31 days followed by 7 months of 30 days, leap year every 4 years in which the last month has an extra day approved by Akal Takt in 2003.